So we have studied a lot about network. So we will now just summarize it by dealing into parts of network. So in a network, we can see only two parts. That is nodes, and second is media. So in nodes, we can see here that a Macintosh, a mobile phone, or a laptop, or a PC. This may be connected, and in media, we have wired media like. Twisted pair cable, or a coaxial cable, or an optical fiber media, or wireless media. So now these are all connected to a server. So what is server? Server for now we can say it is a supercomputer which caters to different computer which requires some service. So the medias can be wired and wireless, and nodes can be as we see here. it can be mac it can be a phone it can be a pc it can be a laptop blah blah etc so server is that kind of computer which keeps some file so it can be said as it's the master of memory it has a lot of memory which stores different kind of files in a common place and those who are connected in a network can access those files because our operating system does not allow the different node that is here we can say that mac uh, accessing the pc so operating system does not allow that so we have designed a computer server specially for storing suppose somewhere your brother is sitting in australia and has made a very beautiful site but you sitting in india cannot directly access because operating system does not allow that so for that we need to have a server in which your brother will place his site and for accessing that site you need to make request you need to make request to that server so that server will actually cater to your service okay there is a guy from india who needs to see his brother's site so that that is not the way they talk computer talks in a very different language so this is the formal language formal language is like they talk through addresses so now this is master of memory because it can hold a lot of files and these are physical data storage media so there are different places on earth where there are servers like amazon has great uh, services related to servers they have uh, there are google servers there are many other company servers which you can find and to buy a server you can go to many private websites like uh, one of the most famous is godaddy so you can go and buy the server and then upload your file to get a service from different domains like uh, different uh, nodes that is mac laptop or some someone sitting somewhere in the world accessing it so is a network is called a web server this server can be called as web server if and only if it is accessible from anywhere in the world that is anywhere sitting around any part of earth can access those site then that kind of server is called web server though you can have private server as in home you can have a private server where there, your family may be a movie freak family so you have four to five computers and a common server where you keep all those favorite movies of your in a particular area or a particular server so that is a private server but when a server is public it is called web server thanks for watching our videos if you like it then like our videos subscribe to our channel share to your friends and if you have any queries comment down below